The most popular programming language is popularity of programming languages in 2024. That's this year. Right now, we're seeing languages. They're changing around. Which language is the most popular? We're going we're gonna to jump right in just to take a quick peek. We see here in the number one is Python. And then Java and JavaScript, C++. It's kind of surprising to see uh, that it has risen in the ranks ever so slightly. Uh, and then C-sharp dropped a slight bit. The one that's interesting, of course, is PHP. PHP being a uh, web language that's high scale and it's run, it run companies like Facebook and Meta that are driven completely by PHP. And so the popularity of this language, of this language specifically, is very, very, we can, we can see that it's super popular. This is the most, it would be the most popular language, but it has in recent years declined. And that's mostly because of, uh, I would say, AI and machine learning, right? So we've got AI and machine learning, which are driving, I would say, the majority of these top two items, where you have Python is going to be the paramount language for artificial intelligence and machine learning, where you've got libraries like PyTorch and Scikit and TensorFlow with Keras. All these languages are going to make a, this number on this chart grow increasingly high, and it's going to keep going up because those are complicated frameworks. We're looking at the most popular programming languages in 2024, and we see even this chart. We've got a nice little chart here to show you that we can look at the most popular programming languages by the size of the font in relation to the others in, in the list here. So we're looking at, uh, we see here we've got uh, JavaScript and Python and Java are going to be the most popular. We do see uh, PHP here, which is standing out. And then everything kind of uh, goes a little bit lower from here. C and C++ as surprisingly, you know, contending with the rest. Interesting that TypeScript is its own, which you can kind of almost merge up with JavaScript being that it is a transpiled language, right? You take TypeScript, you compile it or transpile it to JavaScript and that runs in the browser. So if we kind of zoom in here, we see uh, some of these smaller languages like uh, Kotlin and Swift are going to be, you know, uh, Android and iOS popular languages for building mobile apps, right? Then you've got um, uh, ooh, Objective C here. I see, you know, and then you know Java. So that's why I, probably why Java, Objective C, Swift, and Kotlin are so high is because mobile apps are heavily dependent on these languages. And these really, really tiny ones over here, we've got Ada, which you can kind of see. Scala, which is you know a, a derivative of Java, runs on the Java JVM. We've got Julia, ABAP, ABAP, A B A P, mm. and then we got Groovy, another Java variant. Um, Dart, Visual Basic, Perl. Uh, I can't read that one. It's too small. It probably says COBOL. And then we've got Lua right here. Got some Lua at the very bottom. What is this one? I can't tell what that is. Lu. <laughs> I can't tell. All right, now we're looking at a chart, and this chart's going to show us the most popular programming languages this year, 2024, as of April. We see the most popular languages and change of pace. We can see some of the changes over time. And there is one that is skyrocketing upward for a good reason. You can see this yellow line. What is that yellow line? We're seeing that yellow line as Rust. Rust is the most, the fastest growing language. And it is for a good reason because it is so powerful. The performance is essentially one to one with C. Many of the cases due to the concurrency capabilities of the language and the safety of the memory, it allows you high concurrency, high performance and memory safety, which will bring together uh, the most desired aspects when you're programming. It's huge because it covers 70% of all the bug problems that you have when you're deploying applications are going to be related to those things, concurrency safety and memory safety. Rust solves that for us automatically and as a bonus is as fast and can in some cases be a little bit faster than C because of the implementation practices. I can say firsthand at PubNub, we have deployed multiple Rust applications and we have seen a significant increase in performance and overall a nice, nice gain in our ability to provide lower latency APIs, which has a faster performance to our customers. Additionally, we see a growth in overall stability. Yes, we are running on Kubernetes where our containers are orchestrated and distributed across a lot of nodes across all of Amazon's regions globally. And you, your device will connect to PubNub's most closest data center automatically through GeoDNS. And this allows us an extreme level of redundancy and capability that we've built in over the years. Uh, and as we are seeing our deployment of Rust, we see a significant performance improvement on latency and overall resource utilization. We see lower CPU and lower memory, which is fantastic. 
fantastic because that means we can we can offer our operations at a lower cost and then continue to grow the capabilities of our APIs over time. And we did that with Rust. And that's why I would say Rust is the most popular language in terms of its rate of growth. You can even see over here that Python and Java have essentially plateaued a bit over the last couple of years. They're kind of flat, but they are the most popular languages.